Now we are in the last set of Bigo notation solved problems. This is set number 4 of Bigo notation solved problems. So let's proceed and let's see what are the topics. In this lecture, we will solve two problems on Bigo notation. So let's proceed and solve those problems. The problem number one is find the upper bound for fn equal to 2 to the power n plus 3n cube. We need to apply the three step method which we learned in our previous presentations. So let's apply the three step method here to solve this problem. Step number one is to find the dominant term in this expression which is equal to fn. In this expression, the dominant term is 2 to the power n because 2 to the power n is greater than 3n cube. So, the dominant term is 2 to the power n. Why am I saying that dominant term is 2 to the power n? If you want to know whether this is true or not, try plug in different values of n in 2 to the power n and 3n cube. You will identify that after some point, 2 to the power n will surpass 3n cube. So clearly, 2 to the power n is the dominant term. Now, step number 2 is to assume some gn according to the dominant term. We want the gn to be the least upper bound. For this, let us assume gn equal to 2 to the power n. And this means we are assuming gn equal to the dominant term itself because it might be the least upper bound for fn. fn is equal to 2 to the power n plus 3n cube. If we multiply gn by some constant, it might be possible that it will surpass fn after some point. Now, let's apply the big O definition. This is step number 3. According to the definition of big O notation, fn is equal to big O of gn if and only if fn is less than or equal to c dot gn for all values of n where n is greater than or equal to n naught and c and n naught are constants. Now let's assume some value of c. Let's say c is equal to 2. We can assume any value of c. We are assuming here that c is equal to 2. For c equal to 2, this expression is equivalent to this expression. 2 to the power n plus 3n cube is less than or equal to 2 to the power n plus 1. Because if we multiply 2 to the power n by 2, we will get 2 to the power n plus 1. So, on the right hand side, we are getting 2 to the power n plus 1. Is 2 to the power n plus 3n cube less than or equal to 2 to the power n plus 1? Is this true? Let's identify this by drawing the table for fn and c dot gn. Let's do this. Let's plug in different values of n in these two expressions. Here we have fn which is equal to 2 to the power n plus 3n cube and here we have 2 to the power n plus 1 which is equal to c dot gn. Now let's plug in different values of n. Let's say n is equal to 10. For n equal to 10, this expression is equal to 4024 and this expression is equal to 2048. At this point, we can observe that c dot gn is less than fn. c dot gn is 2048 and fn is 4024. Let's take bigger value of n. Let's take n equal to 11. For n equal to 11, 2 to the power n plus 3n cube is equal to 6041. And 2 to the power n plus 1 is equal to 4096. At this point also, c dot gn is less than fn. What if we take n as 14? If n is equal to 14, then 2 to the power n plus 3n cube is equal to 24616. 
and 2 to the power n plus 1 is equal to 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. At this point, we can say that c dot gn is greater than fn. So, let's say that n naught is equal to 14. At this point, I want to clarify this, that n naught can be any value for which fn becomes less than or equal to c dot gn. I haven't checked for n equal to 13 and n equal to 12. It might be possible that for n equal to 12 or maybe n equal to 13, 2 to the power n plus 3n cube may become less than or equal to 2 to the power n plus 1. Then n naught will be either 12 or 13 in that case. As I am not checking this, I am checking for n equal to 14. I am assuming n naught is equal to 14 because for this n naught value, we can observe that 2 to the power n plus 3 n square is less than 2 to the power n plus 1. So, you do not have to check for each n value. So, we can take n naught as 14. So, for n naught equal to 14, we can observe fn is less than c dot gn. Therefore, this statement is true and hence 2 to the power n plus 3 n cube is equal to big O of 2 to the power n because gn is 2 to the power n. And this is true for c equal to 2 and n not equal to 14. Therefore, gn which is 2 power n is the upper bound of fn which is 2 to the power n plus 3 n cube. So, with this we are done with problem number 1. Let's proceed and solve problem number 2. Problem number 2 is, find the upper bound for fn equal to 300. Pause this video and try to solve this problem on your own. I hope you are done. Let's see my solution. The step number 1 is to identify the dominant term in fn. fn is equal to 300. Here in this expression, we have only one value, which is 300. Therefore, the dominant term is 300. What about gn? Step number 2 is to assume some gn according to the dominant term. Let's say gn is equal to 1. If we multiply this by some constant, let's say 300, we know that fn becomes equal to c dot gn. Therefore, we can take gn as 1. And this can be the least upper bound of fn. Now, let's apply the big O definition and let's prove that gn is asymptotically bigger than fn. According to the definition of big O notation, fn is equal to big O of gn if and only if fn is less than or equal to c dot gn for all values of n where n is greater than or equal to n naught and c and n naught are constants. Let us assume c is equal to 300. If c is equal to 300, then is it true that 300 is less than or equal to 300? We got this inequality from fn less than or equal to c dot gn. fn is 300, as we can observe here, and c dot gn is 300 into 1, which is equal to 300. Is it true that 300 is less than or equal to 300? 300 is equal to 300. Therefore, we can say this inequality is true. Hence, 300 is equal to big O of 1. And that too for C equal to 300 and N not equal to 1. For all values of n greater than or equal to n naught or greater than or equal to 1, 300 is equal to big O of 1. Why n naught is equal to 1? Because it does not matter what value of n we plug in here in fn and gn. fn is equal to c dot gn as these two expressions are constants. So, clearly 300 is equal to big O of 1, for c equal to 300 and n not equal to 1.
therefore gn equal to 1 is the upper bound of fn equal to 300. With this we are done with this problem also and this means we are done with this presentation. Ok friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.